Hello my friends and welcome to our continued let's play The Devil in Me Run number 4, our final run, The Curator's Cut My name is Father Spur, this is your story skipper channel and today Yes, today, the final run After starting a co-op campaign with Moose Gaming Which was one of the funnest things I've done That was amazing Thank you again Moose, go ahead and uh, show him support as well To... Our five alive lethal run, to the ruthless failure run, and now to the curator's cut, where we are going to choose either all brain or all heart decisions. Which one are we going to choose? I'm going to let the game decide. Whichever option shows up on the left side for the first time is going to be the one we choose. So if there's a brain heart, we're going to choose all brain. If there's heart brain, we're going to choose all heart. If it's brain brain or heart heart, we're just going to go with all the dots, uh, the silent option. And um, unless, unless it's going to be a brain or heart decision, uh, if we are on the brain path and there's two heart, we'll choose all the dots. If we're on the heart path and there's two hearts, we're going to choose the one on the left. As far as keeping people alive for the end game scenario, I do have an idea on what I would like to see for that to occur. And I'm not going to spoil it. We'll just let it play out as we go. So let's do this. And uh, for the most part, I'm going to leave a lot of stuff in. So if you haven't seen the gameplay, for the first Whatever time pleases you the most you'll see it with us plus you never know when we're gonna get different character decisions like for instance we're Jeff now instead of Marie I shall hold you to that my dear <laughs> is that really going to change a whole lot I don't know that's why we're doing this Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. This is such a beautiful game. I'm gonna be really sad when we have no more dark picture games to play until, I don't know, next year, maybe. If we're lucky. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Hello, come on there. Try again. Kind of creepy just have a random skeleton. It's actually kind of creepy for him to have you once you know the story of the character, you know? Oh, uh, okay, so it looks like this is gonna be a brain playthrough. Worried. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. Let's see if the old saying left is always right. We're both startling you and for making you wait. Ends up playing My off attention here. attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please. Sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day. Didn't for Marie us. sign in for us last time? I think oh, she did. The honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Yes. Today's the beginning of our honeymoon. 
Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, oh yeah. Well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard. I don't Holmes. think he's. I don't think we're the first honeymooners, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor. Are those the uh, the five Artist. business cards that we find during the game? I'm a man of many interests. I, I think it is. It's kind of cool. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Uh-huh. <laughs> And if you're wondering, yes, I will be doing a Let's Rank video analyzing the five main characters from each game. I don't know when that's going to come out, though. It kind of needs to wait until at least next week for me to work on. I wish I could buy them both. Ooh. So normally he buys necklace, right? So let's get the watch. And it's the left side, so, you know, left is always right. So, yeah, what I may want to do is just uh, do our point-and-click adventure game. Oh. And work on the, uh... Careful, you. Work on the Let's Rank video. Crossed with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. Sort of in the background. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I got something for myself. <laughs> yeah, and I do think I'm gonna do a let's rank of just the uh, playable characters this time. Uh, with the quarry, I did all the characters. Wonder what's in here. But that was one game. When I'm looking I'm at four games, gone and married a thrill seeker. That's a little harder. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill. If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. <laughs> and plus, Wait. by doing just the five what? starting characters, um, what, well, not the starting characters, but the five main playable characters, each game will have five apiece. I can uh, award points for each character as I rank them. And then that will allow me to mathematically conclude which game has the best cast and which game has the worst cast. So it's not just gonna be a let's rank the 20 characters individually, but at the end, we'll be able to rank the characters against each other across all four games. To try to see which ones were the best and which ones weren't. I kind of have my theories on which would be the best and which would be the worst right now in my head, but I don't want to spoil anything because I am starting to work on that. <laughs> that was a thrill. List oh, and thrilling. If we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. If I say anything, I think I'll spoil it. Let's go. But what about you? Like, what do you think so far about the games as a whole? Obviously, don't give me a uh, ranking list your own, or you could be working on one and then provide it uh, when we when we get to that point.
Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. Maybe I could do a uh I'm sure we'll a see let's rank video again. for season one of the of the um the smaller characters. <laughs> or the non playable ones. Goodness, this place is fit for a king. So maybe after I do the twenty I can have a video oh for the oh, supporting you. cast slash prologue characters slash uh, villains it. and in that way very wifely of you. you know we could analyze all the characters at one point or another uh, let's not throw it at her so part of the creator cut is an exploration of all the things that we could do differently um which means if we come across a choice that played out the way it did in game we want to test the different choice <laughs> I think should I was I be frightened if you're smart. I think I should have caught that one. <laughs> They're so cute. I like this. I like this setup. It's like all nice and charming. Okay. You win. And then everything comes apart. Oh, we're not finished. Did I catch this one? Uh, yeah, why not? Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Okay, even though I caught it, he's still like mercy. Only my pride. <laughs> Can I choose not to? Oh, well, let's give it to There's her. Something I'd like to show you. Even if, even if I could choose not to. I got this downstairs. It was half the price it should be. Ah, oh, it's. Very nice. Does it suit me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have been nice if you got me some, you jerk. <laughs> it's lovely. You'll cut quite the dashing figure with it. It suits you well. Why don't you have that bath? I'm going to see about a shave. All right. Did I forget to pack my razor? There's a door been seen. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? And I'm not worried about difficulty at all. That's why I have basically difficulty Open turned off. Sesame. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. I honestly don't think it needs a shave. I mean, it looks pretty suave. But, you know, whatever. So this plays out exactly the same then. Because we were always Jeff here. And, um... Yeah, we were always Jeff here. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Trying to see if you could see that there was a trap here. I mean, it does look like there's definitely a distortion in the rug there. What? Okay, so just like before, you can't fall in. And there's actually blood on the spike, so yeah, we're definitely not the first. Bags and just we'll just walk out. <laughs> what? 
Damn it. Marie. Marie! That's so cool. I really love that. All right. So it looks like that choice was made for us. I wonder what the choice was. What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. Well, she didn't get smothered, so that means she investigated. Is there a problem, sir? I want to confront. Um, I don't know if you've ever had a confront. Oh, what was that? Jeff Punch Holmes to try and save Marie. Awesome. Marie! No! I won't be doing that much. Don't worry. So that's a unique death that you can't get anywhere else. Because if you choose not to attack, it ends with you going into the uh, the poison area. I don't know if she would call out after you, but man, those eyes. That is... Oh, that is so creepy the way those eyes are. A place for everything. Everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, Should we get this in? Absolutely. Definitely. Won't you spare me over till another year? I want you all to see if there's any scenes about space in here. Or the crusades. Like, what was that face there? Has to be about a future game, right? See anything about space though or about the crusades but still that 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 woman 
that that very visual picture that has to be something for somewhere I can only pondering oh. guess you're here hi creator have you been waiting long one more time my friend welcome back i do enjoy seeing a familiar face last time no one survived i wonder if you were even trying i had to break few eggs sometime you know on your own this time Maybe that's for the best. There's a saying about too many cooks. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark, pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. I would just say how good the curator is. Like seriously, My name curator is, is amazing. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Uh and uh and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not. Sure, I've got issues to deal with. Same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a job. I really love the way they introduce all the characters in this game too. It's like each one has their own personality or own skill that they bring to the table, and. Someone like that. It's yeah, just really I'm nice to sorry. see. I'm sick of being on my own. It's just really nice to see them uh sorry, do you start with qualifications or um sort of like, like letting us know who the characters are right away. I don't I mean will anyone access this? I'm kinda of private, actually. Uh yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for twenty years. The last series was so on track, it was uh it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. That is why the people keep, keep. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I just noticed that's H.H. H. Holmes, isn't it? Or well, not H.H. H. Holmes, but Monday. Enough. Or whoever, barely begun, you, you know, the killer is in this game. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. 
On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes. I actually like this documentary. Until finally, the monster was dead. It's very interesting. America's I know they all think it's horrible, but confessed to 27 murders. But his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? Yeah, I think that's really good. So, what do you think? I I'm like Charlie's audience, I guess. <laughs> to be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Mm. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, <sighs> I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this day. Oh, he's 4 p.m. Be ready. It's off talking. Off. We're talking. We need to do this today. You can free this weekend. Like now that you know what's going on, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this you can really hear how he's reading a script. We uh. I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. See, it's mechanical. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. I, I mean, okay. I thought he was nervous and anxious for some reason, and we find out he is. But to know that this is all a script that he's Mr. reading from makes a whole lot more sense. Right. Let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> is that the killer right. in the car, by the way? Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. You're right. I think so. This is gonna be great. I think that's People. actually the killer in the car. Adventure. Excitement. Anyway. Things are picking up, you know, on the fourth time through. Hooray. This is gonna be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. <laughs> exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? And there's a script rich, that we find in the, uh... He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. The lobby. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask. And that was a recording. How did I miss that the first time? While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that can affect my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. 
I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. I don't know why I'm catching things like for the first time after so many playthroughs, but I, I'm I, I was hesitant to do a creative prep because I'm like I already played the game three times, so I really want to do it a fourth time. And I'm glad. Um because like I said, seeing things I haven't seen before. Sir Rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> Bro. That's like the quarry. You know when you go to help them out? It's like the same idea. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly, um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over in the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. All right. Before we go, let's roll around and take pictures. Take a picture of everyone here. Hey Aaron, what's up? Hey Kate. Or Kate's head. Here's Jamie. Say cheese. Hey, we're on a trophy. Uh take a photo of each crew member. How about that? I'm not gonna get all the trophies, by the way. I'm just not. Um in order to get all the trophies, you have to You basically have to get all the clues. Uh, you have to get all the pictures. And I thought about, I really did think about getting all the clues in this game. Something that we haven't done before. But the more I thought about, the more I thought hey, that guys, hurry up. We're on it. the game, I, I wouldn't have as much fun with the game. And the reason I say it is because if I try to get all the clues, I, I would probably have to follow a guide. Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. And I really don't want to follow a guide. Anything because shot, right? games are less fun when using guides. Like, seriously, if, if I had a guide open for, like, every clue, okay. and I'm like, okay, well... well I, I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world... Clue one is here. Maybe I'd have some downtime some space to decompress. Clue two is downtime. here. Would it would drive me crazy. Now? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Wow. That's a lot of lives lost. That's like a workaholic there. Never seen the attraction just resting. I need a rest. Thankfully, I'm getting some time off very soon. Uh, which is why I said it's probably going to be at least a week until I start putting together the, uh, uh, the video for the, uh, casting. Because I'm going to be doing that during my time off. I haven't really thought of what the next game is yet. I know some people have asked. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours. And I just don't know yet. i got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll like, I really would like to finish a series... You should do the same. Before Take cutting us, starting a new one. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. I, I did start Sam and Max. Closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. And while I don't regret that decision. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Because I do want to play all those Sam well, and Maxes what now. I, real is pretty damn good. I really would like to, um. <laughs> Married to the job. To finish Space Quest. I mean, we played four Space Quest games, and we still got two left. <gasps> Holy shit. Well, the hell is that thing? A dummy. Dummy? Well, yeah, but what is it doing here? And one thing I want my vacation. channel to be known for is commitment. Um, 
I want to be committed to finishing what we start. Uh, um, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm literally stuck. I can't do anything. Yeah, I can't move. I, I am frozen. There we go. Hey, what do you know? It just magically unlocked us. I guess when uh, Charlie bumped us, it, it gave us that push. Yeah, I mean, we, we did play Gabriel Knight 1 and we never played the second or third. I was never... I never said I would play the second and third. I did say I would like to play them sometime because I think they're really cool experiences. Uh, but I played the first one because the uh, the 20th year anniversary yeah. edition came out. Just looking at the line on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. But like I said, I really would like to... Uh, I can't exactly turn it off. I really would like to uh, finish Space Quest. The creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Cage hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Makes me wonder if uh, the vacation time was just fabricated there. I'm not going to be reading all the clues, um, but I am going to be picking up all the clues uh, just to file them away. It would be really, really nice if I could find all the pictures at least. But we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, we have a long list of games that we want to play, and I'm really excited to play them. The cool thing about the point and click genre and the horror genre is usually the games aren't as long. So, like, our RPGs and visual novels can usually take, like, two months per game. Uh, but the, the other games... You know, they may take, uh, ooh, hello, what's this? They, they take significantly less time. Guess that counted as big news a century ago. Uh, unless we do multiple playthroughs, you know, like we did with the Devil in Me. Um, one of these days we're going to play uh, Hidden Agenda and As Dust Falls. When we do that, we'll probably have to do... We'll probably have to do at least more than one playthrough as well. Based on how the game is. So, knocking out a series is uh, important to me. Uh, getting Silent Hill complete. We had two more Silent Hills. Getting uh, Space Quest complete. We had two more Space Quest. Uh, that's high up on my priority list right now, I think. And then once we complete those, we could start something new. Such as uh, the Sam and Max Telltale games. Uh, the Walking Dead series, which a lot of people have asked me to do. Uh, some people have even asked me to uh, replay Until Dawn, Detroit Become Human. You know, just to have them on the channel. Pretty old. Even though I've already played them, you know, it, it's something different. So here we're watching Charlie open this instead of us opening it. Here's an oval. Do we automatically that? get that oval? Just hey, we do. Find a penny. Get up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. And I really do appreciate you all. I mean, how cars work. Jesus, I, I've, I've said many times before that you're the number one YouTube Charlie. comedian on all YouTube. But I mean that with all my heart and soul and mind. Truly, I'm not just saying that. I, you guys are, you all just matter so much to me, and I can't, can't say how much. I appreciate that.
Well, that was weird. I got it like Watch halfway through check. and I could barely see it like hop out. Like I said, just want to test things I haven't tried before. Kind of what we're going to do. I am also thinking as we grow of running community polls a little bit more. Oh, look at this. It's all wired up. Basically, um. And six gallons of stuff. Check. That's see that? freaky. Basically asking like, hey, what do you want to do next? So, you know, um, now, like I said, I definitely want to do Space Quest and Silent Hill, but once I complete those series, you know, open it up a bit okay. more, say, be okay. all right, you guys, uh, this game is about to complete. What would you like to see next? Look at this. You know, here's a list of games I'm thinking of. Uh, Y'all can decide our best, the lake, like, route forward. The island comes into shot. Because the bottom line is, I want to play all of those games. The order isn't as important to me. Because eventually, we are going to play them all. So, it's just my way of, you know... It's all right. Come on. We better get back. Trying to get you guys involved a little bit more. And I'm going to do that with my RPG section as well. Um, add to Valkyrie profile, I'm going to probably have a pull up that says... You know, add to Valkyrie profile, what games should we play next? You know, games like Breath of Fire 4, we just had the one call. Legend of Dragoon, How Earthbound, you know was about in the first place? Um, uh, Shadow Hearts 3. Actually, I, didn't ask. I mean, That's there's, weird. like I said, I have a list. Let's just play nice, okay? I mean, Undertale is one that has come up. Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We so look at his face. appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? And in the way he's talking, he's... Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. See, it all makes a whole lot more sense now. Sort of like you watch a horror movie and then you watch it back the second time and now that you know what's going on, you're thinking, oh yeah, I get that now. This game is a lot better than what I think some people give it credit for. Uh, I I've had some people say they didn't like this game. And that's fine. I don't blame you. I, I understand why you may not value this game higher than others. But as someone who loves, like, these old slasher horror movies, I get this game. But if you don't like a slasher movie, but you like horror, there's a good chance you did like the previous games, but you don't like this one because you don't like the uh, the slasher element. The idea, like, the, the villain is supposed to be, you know, had this supernatural aura to let's him, to so to hotel. speak. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Uh, brain. Uneasy. Dude, being on a private island isn't enough. What's next? Charlie, there's no way I'm letting anyone frisk me. It's a business. Investments, collections of art, God knows what else. The fence probably lowers his insurance premiums. Yeah? Well, it ups my creepier. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm... A very private 
person. And the reason he doesn't want Don't photos or recordings of him is because he doesn't want to be a part of the, usual intro stuff, Charlie? the fact that he's screwing these people over. Good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a tech then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. <laughs> Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, ow! Oh, oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you grab your ego again? <laughs> we should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. All right. It would have been cool, though, if we played as one I'm of those two. Classes again? Like, walking yeah, up yeah. the hill. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because... I'm charming. And you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Well, an island for Jamie now, or Kate hey, last time. Can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, I don't know you make me a smart ass. I think that's gonna matter a whole lot, though. Me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. <laughs> At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Watch your head. Um. In the air. Yeah, I don't know how playing a different character here is gonna change anything. But still. Something I want to test out. You could have told us to dress for a trek. You're wearing jeans. I mean, you're wearing jeans, shoes, a jean jacket, uh, a beanie, sunglasses, and you're very impatient with me, it looks like, with the way you're tapping your foot. But the point is, you look very well dressed. I got it. Or a track. Kind of sticks that this was only important in one scene. It would have been nice if we could, uh, you know, that's something I would really like to see in future games is an injury uh, meter. So basically, the more you get injured throughout the game, the less chance you have of surviving at the end. Maybe uh, the more you get injured, the, the faster the QTEs go or something. And if you get injured on like every single scene, it's literally impossible to do a QTE at the end of the game because you never get the option. Because you're too injured to uh, fight back or to move or, you know, something along those lines. Do you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down with your family. My wife is, she died. I, I. I I, I messed up there. Mr. Dumet, is this an actual palm tree? Was this shipped into the island? I... I don't think so. 
Good job, Charlie. I was pressing L2 to hide, but I wasn't at the hiding spot. I'm gonna make a few mistakes. I'm not gonna lie. Especially because uh, the past few days I've had a, uh, um, I've been suffering with a sinus infection. I uh, got some antibiotics today. It's gonna take like three days. And what really sucks is I haven't been able to sleep. So that's been throwing me off. That's probably why I only have one episode out today and one episode out, you know, the day this goes live. Just because I'm too tired to make a second episode. Well, that's gross. Why does this matter, though? What's up with the squirrel's tail? Are all squirrel's tails like that? And I mean, maybe that's just uh, setting up, you know, setting the stage for a, uh, for a uh, horror type situation. I heard you were looking for a new place. So that's Aaron, now that we know. Took me a while to find that one because you can only find that one if you do a certain thing. That was kind of weird because you can't actually pick up the book. Alright, let's press on. I think I know where to go with all the exploration stages. So hopefully leaving these in isn't going to be too much of a problem because you should be able to cycle through them pretty quick. But besides the one cut that I made at the beginning, I want to try to leave this playthrough mostly I intact. To go on nature hikes. I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Got an oval? Probably want to pick as many of those up as we can too to see if we can unlock the uh all the dioramas before the end. Cause that's one thing I would this like to do. Shit summer camps. All right, making our way over here. Okay. What you do? If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. And this is weird because before you were playing as Kate and then you changed to Jamie to do the electrical thing. But now we're just always playing as Jamie. Then over here. That's a good one, actually. Bye, Pips. Then went straight ahead to jump down. <sighs> Off on. And then turn this on. We can get this thing working. I wish it was more. I, I wish the difficulty of the game actually changed these puzzles. You know, sort of like um, what Silent Hill does with the, the riddle difficulties. Because it would have been cool if you had like this really, really complicated puzzle that you had to solve. Because puzzles like these are a lot of fun. And I don't know if today's episode is going to be as long as 
previous ones. What's through here? Hear that? Just because, like I said, I'm not 100%. Okay, this time move over here and then hide. Heck. That wasn't working for some reason. It's like my movement seemed to be very glitchy since that one glitch that I encountered earlier. But that's not an automaton. I think that's the killer. Because the automatons wouldn't be like roving the grounds, right? I mean, that, that, that guy has to be... He has to be someone. An actual person. That's interesting, I can't look at the notepad. I'm trying to look at the notepad and I can't and I'm not Kate so I can't decipher the clue there either so I guess some clues aren't obtainable which is kind of cool I don't mind that yeah, those are the heels could be Demet's wife or not Demet um Uh, I forgot his name. Hey. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh god, that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. We found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone, stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. I love that line, by the way. Stay where you say. We're gonna find out what's up. It's just a cool line. Don't worry about that. Morello? Was that the name Morello? I think so. It's weird how memories just sort of hit me from. Coming or what? Uh huh. I didn't know where. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Uh, provocative or reassuring? Reassuring. I'm sure it's fine. Dude spends a million dollars on security. He'd opt for a better bridge if this one wasn't safe. Besides, even if you do fall, look at all the soft water down there. <laughs> swirling around those jagged rocks. Wait. Is that a skeleton wedge down there? Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh, you're hilarious. Go already. Drop. You good? Oh man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. I said, I really like how they build up this story in this one. You, you really get to know the characters. There's no way that's not Tom Khan. No way. That's an actual person. Um, carting out the bodies. Possibly. This 
Jesus, wow. Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl up there. Uncertain? Mysterious. Probably Demet's daughter. Maybe she recognized you from TV and she's running down here for an autograph. I Maybe. like how the first brain choice was to the left and now all the brain choices are to the right. It's like the game is trying to troll me here. Everything in here is fragile. <laughs> Please be careful. I was thinking about just doing an all left playthrough. Just choose every choice on left, but I like the brain oh, heart idea. Whoa. And what we'll have to do in like a future playthrough amazing this is like maybe next year when the next one comes out mind signing in at the desk please maybe do that creative cut with all the heart decisions this isn't everything so like every game i'm sure the rest is almost here the creator cut is the opposite of what the previous game was slowing it down i kind of like that idea Aaron, cigarettes blue backpack Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. Someone needs to remind me of that. Mr. Dumas, I cannot like, when we get there. Enough times. This is truly fantastic. In case I forget. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. One seventy eight. Yeah. Because he hasn't killed uh Marlo and his daughter yet. Kinda horrible how he does that. Oh there you are. See, and there's the yellow body. So yes, that's definitely the killer. Maybe I should have realized this a while ago. I don't know. I'm a little slow sometimes. This guy is super creepy with whatever's going on. Aaron. Sorry, you're jumpy. I do have a plan on how this is going to play out. Um, but the credit cut may mess up with that plan, of course, because. <laughs> okay, come on. It's not that funny. It, it may not give me the you options I want me. Really? to do. It was an accident. I'm sorry. How did you not hear me coming? I was. I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. <laughs> this is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. <laughs> 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy.
cozy? Very old school. Mm, cozy is fun. I think that's what they're thinking. Look like last time is matter by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? <laughs> Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh wow, there's like big lightning strikes coming from outside my apartment. I hear it. I worry, Charlie will find out. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole. We've had okay. bad weather all yeah. day today. Which does all my sizes, that. by the way. But you're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. Um, uh, I'm not worked up. I'm what? I I'm not worked up. I'm just saying. Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because, good job. It's really cool, the uh, distortion. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. I know how you feel right now, Aaron. I really sure. do. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. Actually, it's got a weather report. Apparently, we're gonna get severe weather tonight. And Wonderful. now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying. It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were a cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. Uh, encouraging. That's fine. What? No, I'm fine. I'm I'm totally not the scared lost lamb Charlie makes me out to be. Oh, I know. That's why I'm super coming on to you. So basically, you'd rather drink this shit than acknowledge all the signs I'm throwing at you. Move in? I'm moving. Oh, she pulled what away. I, oh my god. I uh Oh, I, that's <laughs> messed up. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. Oh, okay. Scared to make a real move. Oh, 
I was like, man, that's messed up if, you know. Sorry, sorry. Who is that? What the fuck, Charlie? You just standing there trying to listen in? What? No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I, did I interrupt something? Uh, anxious. No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. I need to give him those smoke. Any shapes or numbers. If I can. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. To be continued, then? I hate yes. the way he talks to Erin. Definitely. If you're in a position of power over someone, you shouldn't treat them like garbage. Good luck finding your rooms. That, that just always rubs me the wrong way. And it's probably why I didn't like Charlie <laughs> at all early on. I mean, it kind of grew on me. I, I like his resilience and everything, but early on, that that right there just really ticks me off. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Where the hell are they going? Get a drink. Uh, but unfortunately, due to my health, due to the weather outside, uh, I can't. If the power goes out, I lose all my recording. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and probably stop here for the day. But I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I'll be back real soon with more of the devil in me. Uh, the Curator's Cut, our final playthrough. Until then, my dear friends, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.